Carbon. Welcome to episode three of Metropole Live. So we are four weeks into distance learning now, and we're still continuing to develop our system from feedback from you guys, the community. That's voices from children, teachers, parents. We are all in this together. So over the past two weeks, Metropole Live series has seen over a thousand views on social media, but more importantly, over 160 of you have joined us for Zoom chats on Sunday at 3.30 to have your feedback and your questions answered by myself and special guests. I look forward to seeing even more of you this Sunday at 3.30. The link to that Zoom meeting will be shared under this video. So, this week we're taking a different lens. We're going to look at distance learning from behind the scenes. My first guest is a parent, our first parent on Metro Life, and she's going to give us an insight into what distance learning looks like for her twins in year one and her son in year seven and how she is managing that. We've also got one of our SEN teachers, Miss Eme, and she's going to give us an insight into how teaching children across the school, personalising provision, working with teachers, as well as juggling teaching her own children and supporting her own children as they go through distance learning at Gems Metropole as well. So, without further ado, my first guest is Miss Zainab. Let's meet her. Hi Zainab, you there? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for joining us today. Um, really just My want, pleasure. We just wanted to get your opinion on what this is like from a parent's point of view and how you're finding distance learning at the moment. Well, to be honest with you, before I start, I just want to say big thank you to all of our teachers who are still supporting and trying to push our kids to carry on with the learning. Uh, they are really doing a great effort. I don't think we have any way to say thank a good thank you for them, to be honest with you. And we just found out how they, you know, work hard with our kids at school. Now we know how does it look like at school. Uh, distance learning is really nice. It's an interesting uh, experience for us. Maybe it's our first time doing this uh, distance learning, especially for my younger ones, because they are year one. But with my eldest one, he's in year seven. It's really nice. It's uh, organized. Uh, and yeah, it's okay. Apart from the connection issues, it's, it's a nice experience until now. Yeah, it's one of those things. Um and the feedback, obviously, the teachers will be really happy to hear the, the positive feedback as well. Um, trying to develop the system as, as much as possible. But how much do you find you have to support your twins in year one? Because you've got two of them at the moment down that end of yes. the... To be honest with you, as you mentioned, uh, I have a three kids. My eldest one, he's doing it by himself. He's okay with it. But with the younger one, uh, it's their first time. And you know, kids when they see iPads or computer, they only want to play with it. So I have to be there. And first of all, we have to make sure the connection is working. Then uh, I need to sit with them because both of them in different classes. So I need to pay attention to their timetables, what they have uh, each class, uh, go through the uh, materials, uh, make sure they understood it. So then independently, they can uh, do the work by themselves. Yeah, I think so. I have to be with them from eight to three, to be honest with you. Apart from break and lunchtime, then they'll be by their own. Yeah, and I think the, the teachers are trying to make things more independent. I don't know if you've seen that at all, that it's becoming a bit more independent for them in the activities given. Yes, true. But the thing is, as I said, sometimes the, there is some issues with the up so I have to contact the teacher sending email and then they explain it to us by the time the app works and once we understood the task that's it they do it by themselves yeah yeah it's one of those tricky things isn't it it is new for for everyone really um and hopefully something we won't go through again this lock-in yes <laughs> yes yes is there anything or is there one thing you could change about the system that you think would make it easier for you guys as parents mm, to be honest with you i'm not sure because uh, it's our first time to be honest with you i'm happy with it uh, everything is especially now with, with the because they divided the we have more channels so it's more organized we can easily find the files we can find the calls where it is so 
for me, I'm happy with it, to be honest with you. That's good to hear. And actually, those things you mentioned there were all things that have been kind of developed and, and put in because of feedback from, from you guys. So hopefully we're getting there. But you, uh, we see you guys as heroes at the moment, obviously juggling. You've got a boy in secondary, twins in year one. It's uh, yes. fantastic. Yeah, but to be honest with you, we, we, we can't be as superheroes without our teachers, to be honest, because without them, we'll be lost. It's going to be just like... A blank task we don't know what to do but with them with their guidance it's easy for us and they support our kids and with their great feedbacks to our kids we managed to do it yeah and I think that's one of these things with this kind of metropole live these episodes is like you said you said about we really appreciate the pa parents and what they're doing the parents are appreciating the teachers I think it's one of those things that it's we're kind of all in this together to a, to a certain extent. So, but no, Zainab, Definitely. thank you so much for coming on um, and being brave. You're our first parent on here so far. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much too. Thank you. And we'll speak to you. Thank you. Thank you, Zainab, our first parent guest on Metropole Live and many, many more to come over the coming weeks. I think one of the main takeaways from what Zainab was talking about there is that community. The Metropole community is so important and it shows now when we're in this distance learning kind of provision that between the community, the teachers and everyone involved that we build this system for our children, for the children of the school. So that community hub is so important and that's why we're sending these episodes out. So without further ado, another member of our community, we are going to meet my next special guest who is Miss Ime. She's one of our SEN teachers in school. So Miss Ime teaches children across Key Stage 2, um, personalising provisions, supporting where needed, different individuals, and she also has her own two children in our school. So let's catch up with Miss Ime. Hi Ime, are you there? Hi, how are you? I'm all good. So just wanted a really quick catch up really, um, and just see how are you finding distance learning? Well, as with any change or in a new system there are some things that we have to get used to now especially in my role with supporting students with extra needs um, it has been challenging however it also has provided me with opportunity to to learn new skills and to and new techniques which supported my development as a teacher yeah it's really nice and actually your job has a completely different lens on this distance learning and how you support them, how we personalise provision and you're working with teachers and away from the school as well as all those tricky elements. And then you've got that bigger element as well that you're, you've got your own two children learning at home as well. How is that big juggle? Yeah, as far as teaching in the new world as well as um, supporting my own two kids, um, there certainly has been some challenges. Um, However, I, I always say I have to look at the positives. My kids had to learn to become more independent with their learning and to take some more ownership of their own learning because while they need to be at school, I need to be teaching and supporting my students and ensuring that I give high quality education to them. So we, we had to put in some strategies and we're obviously still working on different types of strategies and how to support them in managing their day and making sure that they are still focused and productive. But I have seen them adapt very well under the circumstances and they are going on on their own and they seem to be enjoying it as much as they possibly can. So. Yeah, I saw your son who's in year four in his lesson the other day and, and the work he's producing is brilliant. But yeah, that independence is a, a skill that I think all schools, not just our school, but all schools will take in really harness when we go back to school into the, the physical building. and it proves to the children that they can do a lot more on their own and, and that kind of side of it. It is very important and it's a, it's a life skill well, that a child needs to, needs to learn. Um, and that is not something that can necessarily be, be learned by sitting in front of a child spoon feeding them. It is something that you have to let them, you have to give them the wings, but they have to fly by themselves. Yeah, definitely. And I think this whole process can always be developed and that's what, really what we're trying to do from these episodes is speak to the community and the parents and, and how it can be adapted and supported. But I know your guys from the, from the SEN team are, 
are seeing a different lens to this and, and putting everything in place. It's an incredible job uh, from all of us, what, what you guys are doing at the moment. If you could wake up tomorrow and the system was perfect for you from your kind of teaching point of view or from for your children at home, what would be one thing that would really help it or change it? I think, I think at the moment, the, the, the flexibility of the timetables that's been given for as a parent side um, and the continuous improvement in the delivery from the teacher side is definitely helping. I think just carrying on with the regular feedback and carrying on the way we are doing. Um, nothing, is, nothing in this world is going to ever be perfect. And I think we all, need, we all um, are adapting quite well. And I think the kids are actually adapting a lot better than we all thought. And we should give them credit for that. And I think as adults, we just need to be more positive and lead by example, showing the kids that this, this time is, it's no one's fault that this whole pandemic happened. No one chose this online learning, but we are all making it work. Um, and I think if we are, if us as adults are staying positive and showing the kids, you know what, it's going to be okay. We just need to adapt and try and work our best. It will all work out in the end. Yeah, definitely. And I think, yeah, just such a positive kind of feedback for you guys, especially working mums who, and we've obviously got you in the school, is just incredible how you're supporting everyone. So a massive well done from all of our side of the community. But thank you so much. I won't keep you any longer. I know this is your quick lunch break before you're back into school and everything. So thank you so much for coming on though. No problem. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. So that was Miss Eme. Probably one of the most positive and smiley people I have ever met and a joy to have as part of our Metropole community. Great to have had her on the show so early on in the series. One of the main things that you may talked about there was independence and that learning skill. And this is a perfect opportunity and why a lot of our teachers are planning for independence at the moment within the work they're giving. When we talk about learning skills, it's something we take in the classroom very seriously and we plan for to ensure that we're developing skills that will turn children into global citizens and adult learners. These independent skills come from all different types of learning and we're really making sure that our children are independent and resilient learners at the moment. We talk about the learning pit and that's where a child at the bottom of the learning pit they've come across maybe a maths problem or a science problem and their initial reaction is to put their hand up and say sir I don't know what I'm doing or miss what's the answer. And that's not how we become adult learners, that's not how we get on in the real world. So these learning skills are planned for and developed to make sure that children have different strategies to get them out of situations before reverting back to the old hand up or asking someone else. So that's where this independence and resilience is vital in the planning and lessons we're preparing and giving over distance learning because it's a great opportunity to put those skills from the classroom into action. So. This Sunday, 3.30, we'll have Metropole Live. This is episode three now, so our third session online. We've had over 80 participants in both sessions so far. This week, we're gonna be talking about distance learning and how it's continuing, continuing to develop. Um, myself will be there, Miss Eme will be in there, and we'll be discussing how we're taking this program further, what support's in place for children, and how we can develop it as a community. One thing we won't be able to discuss in there is anything to do with finance options and, and fees and anything like that because unfortunately, well not unfortunately, we are teaching and learning and that is our focus. So we're focused on your children's education and how to move that further. So we won't unfortunately be answering any questions to do with fees and anything to do with GEMS Cares with that. But we really look forward to seeing you. As you can see from my first guest, what we're doing as a community is building this together and that's how we're running such a successful platform and getting all the great feedback and that's for our school and our community so I really look forward to seeing you all on Sunday 3.30 the codes after this and the password is 1234 nice and simple I look forward to seeing you on Sunday but for now goodbye